Hey, this is Colby with Whitfield Groundscapes. Coming to you guys today to do a review of my 329 mower from Grasshopper that I got from the mower shop in Fort Smith last week. The mower shop is a full service Grasshopper, Steel, and Honda dealer located in Fort Smith, Arkansas. They stock parts for even the old chain driven mowers and always have quick repairs. This is my Grasshopper 125 mower with a 25 horsepower Kohler engine and a 48 inch deck. The 125 is a smaller mower, but still every bit commercial grade. Before I get out the 125 with the bagger, I always cut the yard on a lower deck height with the 329 to mulch the leaves a little bit, as I found this improves the quality of the bag. The hill on this part of the property is fairly steep. I don't take the 125 on the steepest parts because the 329 has already been over it. However, the 125 has no issues on hills whatsoever. to mulch them up with the 329.
The engine never really kicks down at all, and when it does, you do not lose any cutting power or ground speed. The mower just keeps going strong. So yeah, by absolute all means, this thing is a beast. If you want one, you can get it at the mower shop in Fort Smith or any other grasshopper dealer. Uh, that only took six minutes and there was a lot of leaves out here. There's really not a whole lot now. And uh, just, just depending on the conditions, sometimes you may leave marks with this because it's a heavier mower but whenever it's dry, it won't really make any rut marks or turn marks. Uh, you won't have any issues with stuff like that. Uh, pretty much you can get whatever type of pile of leaves you want in front of this and it'll go through it, no issues. Uh, very responsive. And once you get into the area, you can go full throttle. This thing is pretty much just like a rocket, uh, 11 miles an hour. Um, it cuts mowing speed down tremendously haven't got to really try it out for mowing yet because we got it in december but still trying to show just a little bit of what this thing can do just in case people might be interested it's this mower or the parking brake location it's right here on your left uh, i got the grammar seat on mine uh, it's really comfortable i know we were looking at ferris as one of our other options and I think this that seat's probably about as comfortable as whatever suspension and stuff they've got with this mower. It's just set up so big that it, it really just makes obstacles. They're not as big as the mower, you know. It's different compared to the smaller mowers, such as the 125, which I've got here. Power of that hardtop bagger. Uh, it holds two bags. As long as you mulch everything before you bag over it, which is how you're going to get the best results anyways, uh, it picks up everything. You can go at a pretty good pace with it. You don't have to drive, you know, completely slow just because you've got the bagger on it. It does perform a little bit differently with the weight. Not necessarily a negative thing, but you have to take that into account. Um, I think the bagger is very nice to have. It does a very quality job. With the 329, when you go and feather the deck, it's suspended on all this stuff, but it's got these massive springs here that it's all loaded on. So whenever you got the mowing deck down and you're cutting, 
you, you press on that right pedal, it's very light to lift the deck up. Uh, if, if you need to clear obstacles, it clears a lot of obstacles with the wheels, but some things, you know, these rollers aren't gonna pick it up over. It's got them on every corner, you know, and then as well as that, you've got your striping flap in the back, which does leave a, it seems like it'll leave a very nice stripe in the green yard, but you know, we don't have any really green grass around here at this time. Yeah, I'm gonna go shoot some more footage for you guys and stay posted. <laughs> Poor camera angle on this side, but just cutting the yard real low and mulching the leaves before I run the bagger over it. And I'm taking all the leaves from the bagger and putting it in the backyard to do some demonstration of how the 329 mulches everything up on its own. Messed up my camera blowing some leaves into place. Figured I'd leave the video up and just speed it up to show the mower getting around the yard.
Unfortunately, my camera died while recording. However, I'll be uploading more, better videos coming soon. This picture's from the next day.